With all the comings and goings in the political world, it is easy to overlook some of the events that have a more deep social impact. Protests in Hong Kong have kicked off again, as its residents struggle to keep their freedom of speech. But it's understandable why people on this side of the world would not know anything about it. China is miles away, and mainstream media would not be interested in giving them that much coverage, especially seeing as how the CCP's influence is so strong that even the WHO refused to recognize Taiwan as an independent country due to China's claim it belongs to them. On a more relatable story, Secretary of State for Housing Robert Jenrick decided to go against local authority ruling and fast-track the approval of the £1 billion West Ferry Print Works development in East London the day before new legislation was to be enacted, saving the billionaire and Tory donor Richard Desmond £40 million in tax. Tower Hamlets Council launched a challenge in March on the basis that Mr. Jenrick's decision appeared to have been influenced by a desire to help the developer to avoid a financial liability. The government has now backed down and in doing so is able to avoid having to release documents that may have shed light on how the housing secretary reached his decision. Tower Hamlet's mayor, John Biggs, added in a statement, We may never know what emails and memos the Secretary of State received before making his decision and what influence they had, but his reluctance to disclose them speaks volumes. In siding with the developer, he went against not only the planning inspector, but also the council's strategic development committee and the residents whose lives would be directly impacted by this scheme. High court documents show that Mr. Jenrick admitted to publishing his decision letter on 14th of January to sneak in under the wire on Tower Hamlet's new Charging Rules for Developers, known as Community Infrastructure Levy. To put the monetary amount into perspective, the £40 million of tax is enough to cover the starting pay for 2,000 key workers such as NHS nurses, police officers, firefighters, and council bin collectors, who earn between £20,000 and £25,000 annually. In 2017, billionaire Richard Desmond donated £10,000 of his £2.6 billion to the Tory party, which can be a lot of money when your starting pay is between twenty and twenty-five thousand pounds. Nobody enjoys paying tax, just like nobody enjoys making their bed, washing the dishes, or any of the other tedious household chores. However, after the cleanup, many people have a sense of accomplishment and a greater feeling of owning the space that they live in. The same thing can be said for paying taxes. You paid for the road that delivers goods and services used by the community. You paid for the waste management that helps keep the environment sanitary and livable. So, it can be quite insulting when a member of the public who has so much to gain insists on contributing so little. All the while, nine years of social cuts have left the less glamorous homeless service in the UK hemorrhaging with a £1 billion year funding gap, which highlights the competence of the current political engine. What would you say is the more effective investment? Turning the unemployed and homeless into the employed and housed who pay tax, or encouraging the building of luxury homes 
that a decreasing number of people can afford, fast-tracking the next housing market crash. Thank you for listening. Feel free to leave a comment or a question down below. Remember to click the subscribe button and to press the appropriate thumb.